Back to clean, professional fight, obey my commands, protect yourself at all times, touch gloves, good luck. Now you see red spikes come out with Troy Isley. He's been doing a lot of the work Sean in the McKay. corner. And one of the great Mr. things Shrek about this team with Bomek in the lead, Tim, is he allows Isel Diegas and Red Spikes to get credit for the work that they also do in the gym. Well, that's why it works. Yep. You know, it's, it's a team effort. And Bomek, Bomek just got done, and he's allowing his man that Red that's been working with Isley probably the most throughout camp. And in the build-up to this fight, in yep. terms of warming, warming him up, getting him ready. Yep. So Absolutely. That's one of the great things that if you're part of Bomac's team, he's going to take care of you. He's going to allow you to grow as a trainer. And we've seen that out there in Omaha. Now they're working out in Vegas for this particular camp. You'll see the scarring on the right biceps and the chin of... Marcos Hernandez. That was an accident that he had in the kitchen when he was two years old. He got burned, almost died, he told us. Spent a long time in the intensive care unit, but here he is. 24 fights in as a professional, taking on an Olympian. Yeah, I saw that right hand was on land while you was talking. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that right hand was on land. You know, just look at Hernandez, and when he shoots his jab, he brings his jab back low. I knew sooner or later, Isley, some of his pedigree was going to be. Oh, there it is right again. Hand. There it is again. He came right behind that jab again with that offense. And just note that you know, Hernandez has been stopped before, but he's been stopped by top quality opposition. You know, I think it was uh, Durrell. Yeah, Anthony Durrell, a guy that I know. I've been in the ring with him twice in the amateurs. Mm -hmm. um, and also Rosario. Jason Rosario. Yep. So, just saying, if Isley can get a stoppage, I mean, that's, that's making some noise. I mean, you see how he's sitting on his punches tonight. That's going to allow Hernandez to counter as well, but not if Isley stays busy like this. Hernandez told us, look, I'm going to overwhelm him with activity. Isley's more comfortable at a measured pace, but Isley's not allowing Hernandez to open up as of yet. No, because Isley's doing a good job controlling distance outside when he wants to. Good jabs and feints and movement. And it's spooking Hernandez. Hernandez is like, uh, I don't think, I don't think I want to just rush in there. He has something waiting on me. And Isley's doing a great job in countering a lot of the shots that Hernandez attempts. I call that the shutdown. You start shutting the guy down. You start shutting down his, his best weapon. You start with his jab. You take it away from him. He shoots the right hand. You counter him. He shoots the left hook. You counter that. Then they don't want to throw any punches. <laughs> I mean, shut him down completely, systematically. That's what the best fighters in the world do. What yes. did Floyd May Mayweather do best? Took your best weapon yes. from the jump and made you adjust Absolutely. for round one. Absolutely. So far, a good opening round for Troy Isley here in Verona, New York. <laughs> in the corner in terms of what he saw from Troy Isley in the opening round and was asking him to do some different things here for round number two. Let's see if he's able to execute against Marcos Hernandez. Father of two sons, Max Nine and Elijah. And you see that Infinity logo on the front right of the trunks of Hernandez. He says, I represent the cause be because my stop, son, stop. Max, has autism. Mm. So All the folks out father. there, yep. With autism, kids with autism, people with autism. Respect, love. You know what, uh, Hernandez remind me of like a junkyard dog. That's what he <laughs> remind me of, you know, I mean. He gonna, he gonna sniff you, he gonna sniff you out. Like, he gonna understand where you at. You know, uh, if you if you don't belong in the ring with him, you, he's gonna he's gonna quickly let you know. You know, as of right now, I, I think that Isley is taking total control right now of him, and he's respecting Isley. Oh, but Hernandez has a ton of experience, even amateur experience as well. Isley varying his attack downstairs, upstairs. That's what you want to see him changing levels here. Yes. But you can see the technical prowess now of, of Isley. Look, I think he's a lot more sharper now. Sharper with his combinations. His clutch placement is also a lot better. And defensively as well. He seems comfortable Get your inside hands the free. pocket. Get out of there, guys. And that's definitely worked. 
from the Bow Mac and his team. Nice body work there from Hands Hernandez free. on the well, inside. That's, well, that's where it's going to be. Isley is a solid puncher. He's not, he's not a one-punch type of guy. He's a solid puncher. A cumulative punch type of puncher. Don't, don't, don't hit back he's not going to get you Come out on. of there. I'm not saying that he can. If it's a punch that you don't see, can hurt you. However, I mean, he's letting it flush again on Hernandez, and Hernandez is taking him away. Good body, that body work. work, though, that left to the liver. But that makes right Hernandez there. take a step back. Man, yeah. That liver shot, like, freezes you, man. And Isley said, look, I have to be convincing. I want people to talk about me like they talk about the other young men that I'm coming up with. Don't sleep on my talent. Yeah, but a lot of, a lot of people don't really understand that. Like, he's not facing, you know, opposition that he can just run through. Yes. He's facing really decent competition this far in his career. So, you know, it's a bit more difficult as you keep continue to climb and you fight difficult opponents or people with a lot of experience. It's hard to really knock those guys out. None of his opponents have had a losing record. I mean, that tells you something. This is his 10th fight since the Tokyo Olympics. And it's not been an easy road. He's been tested, but in the long run, Tim, he's going to be better off because of the testing. Yes, you're absolutely right, Bernardo. Tonight, championship dream coming in. Round three of a scheduled eight-round fight. Tim Bradley has now left the broadcast table to have a conversation with trainer Brian <laughs> Bomack McIntyre. That's right. Well, Mac, I just want to know what you're seeing right now, man. What you like with your future this year. I like what he's doing, man. You know what I'm saying? He's boxing. He's taking his time. Uh, he's picking his shots. That's good. He's doing good. Yeah. He's boxing real well, I think, from the outside. Yeah. On his own terms. Yeah. yeah. Going to the body. Break, the most punch. important thing is to stay to that body. Good job. You know, because the dude didn't make weight. He was off a few inches. Yeah. So, I mean, he was su he's sucking. Right. Yeah, so I, I don't believe his body's in shape enough to, to go to eight rounds. So that's why you guys just kind of keep touching the bike just like he's doing. There you go. So you, you're you not just looking for one shot. You're looking for the break the breakdown process. Yeah, yeah you got to break him down. You got to break, break him it. down. Slowly but slowly, you back, you break his ass back. down, just like chopping the tree down. What is he after the knockout tonight? Uh, hey, listen, we, we'll go for the knockout, but we're in shape to go 10 rounds. That's right. Look, look, look at the way you boxing. Look at the way you boxing. Nice and smooth, nice and relaxed. Good, good, good. It is some good. beautiful boxing. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, you're stepping around. Look at that. That see. Long. And he looks relaxed. He is relaxing. Look at him. Look at him. He had a great camp, man. He was in camp seven and a half weeks. Yeah, I thought that was the biggest issue with him in his conditioning. Yeah. Was the fact that yeah, look at that. Time actually relaxing. That hurt him. You see that body shot hurt him. There you go. Take your time. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. He's systematically right now breaking him down. He took everything away from him, right, Coach? Exactly. 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 Look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just stay into the body. Look. See that deep breath he just took? Yes. Yeah. Stay to the body. Stay to the body. He just took that deep breath. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Look. See, he just took another one. Oh. And he's recognizing body language right now, yeah, too. Exactly, exactly. Uh, keep your rhythm. He look, look, he ain't got no stop on his punches no more. Look at that. Come on. There you go. Keep your rhythm. Get a little bounce in your legs. Get a little bounce in your legs. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at that. Why, stay, is that rhythm, why is that rhythm so important, Coach? It, it, it's, just, it's just because you can be able to box off your rhythm. If you don't have no rhythm, if you don't got no rhythm, you'll be a sitting target for the, for the opponent. Look at him. It's Stop the best the I've seen him look. Yeah, young son. Oh, hey, what's up, Omaha, Nebraska? Hey, how y'all doing, baby? Yeah. Conversation with Brian Bomack McIntyre as he makes his way back down ringside. See, I like the nice little upper body movement. Come from my eyes. There you go. But that which I've been working on, the defense after the transition? Yeah, the transition. That's the big thing that Red works on. Red loved that transition. You got to have that transition. 
Don't get into no firefight with him. Just keep boxing him. There you go. See, and what transition is, is that, you know, you got to be defensively sound after you let your hands go. There you go. Get off the ropes. Don't punch. Well, good work. Good work. You hear it? You hear, you hear it? Transition. Transition is extremely important. Yes, absolutely. Because you got to understand that when you're at mid range and you're letting your hands go, guess what? Your opponent's going to let his hands go. So you make him miss and you're still in range to be able to punch, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly what you just said, man. You, you become a target too. When you don't when you don't transition from offense to defense, look at that. Look at that. Look look look, look how he's not rushing. Look how he's not rushing. Perfect. Coach, coach, why is why is Red the lead in this this fight, particular fight? Well, you know what? You know, these guys, these guys need credit too. And it's just not only me. You know, you got Sao, you got Red and shit. It, it was because of Red that uh, Troy came to the team and shit, because they got a great relationship. So why 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 do I have to take all the credit? I don't need to take all the credit because we we one team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Remember I was locked up in prison doing all that time? Those guys stepped up to the plate and did what they were supposed to do and kept the team of BNB coaches together. Would you say this is one of the best boxing teams in the history of boxing? Man, you can, hey, we, I, we arguably is is the best one. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got good trainers. Protect I think yourself. Robert Garcia, you got, uh, uh, you got those uh, uh, Ronnie Shields. You know, they got great trainers out there. But us, we call ourselves the three-headed monster. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep working. Keep working. Keep, keep your rhythm. You know what I'm noticing is... It Use your veins too, son. The consistency from Isley. Yeah. Usually he have pauses in moments yeah. and low yeah. moments. Yeah. No, he's staying consistent with his operation. Where does that come in at, coach? Yeah, just training, man. Training every day and just listen to his coaches, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, hey, and then, uh, man, I, I put guys through the fucking ringer. When, <laughs> hey, when we come to training, not only just inside the gym, but outside the gym, swimming, heels, sprints. Track, all of that counts, man. This is what you see right here from all of that. Good performances there like this. Thank you. Efficient with his operation, changing levels, going down to the body, shooting the jab, counter punching, defense afterwards, and, and, and still being there in presence. You know, like what I mean is to stay consistent. A lot of fighters, they don't stay consistent. They'll do a little bit of work and then they'll, they'll lay back, they'll take a breather, but you see how. Back and forth, interchanging space, getting space for himself to be able to let his hands go. He's moving backwards right now, defensively, making the man miss. And just wait for the counter. Break, He's going to set him over back. counters too afterwards. Hernandez has work. the veteran Henry Ramirez in his corner. You know him from his time, notably with Chris Ariola, Mexican-American heavyweight. But man, Isley is just on one tonight. He's on fire. Oh, short left hook there from Isley. And you wonder how, how you get this way, right? Discipline. Hard work. That's what it's about. Discipline and hard work. Listening to your trainer. We talk about also a change of scenery sometimes, Tim. He was with Kay Corona since he was a kid. And you see him dig into the body right now. And Kay gets a lot of love from yes. a lot of the fighters, especially in the amateur system. But it he was hurt. time for this move because you see there's a mean streak now in Isaac. There's a mean streak, yes. Break, don't punch. What a discipline means. But his, yes, it's discipline. It's not wild. It's not crazy. It's put together. And the tactics, I love his tactics. Dude. Everything that he's doing, man. Even when he's not throwing punches, that's what I love. He's alert. He's ready to strike. That's important as well. See right here. Just a little head moving right there to throw off his opponent, look, keeping his head off line to give him a different look, changing the front. That's important. You don't want to be, what we call, um, you don't want to be, what's the word I'm looking for? Static? No, not a static. Not static. Predictable. Simple word, right? Yeah, yeah not for me. I, I can't read what's going on in your I head, too. Big head, right? <laughs> I was going to say, big-headed monster, we got our big-headed monster right here. But, you know, Ooh, nice. nice body work. Nice work. Isley. It's Just good work. Digging tonight. See, the only thing that's, that's missing is the stoppage. If he can get the stoppage, I mean, that elevates the game even more. 
But Tim, when you have such a comprehensive performance Break. that he's having tonight, back. I, I know it. we all want to see the stoppage. He wants a stoppage of tonight. Course. But you give credit when you're so dominant. And he's, I mean, he's shutting down. And shutting it down. And you mentioned it. It happened early on in this fight. Yes, he is. But again, that's what takes you to the next level. Hernandez oh! with no slouch, and he got him hurt here in round five. Do that because Marcos Hernandez is as tough as they come. He is tough as they come. I mean, I think he's only been stopped twice. And again, I, I mentioned those names early on. Rowling, yes, always. yes. So he's a tough shell to crack. I mean, he's got but it can't up, be done. Yeah, he's got upset wins against undefeated Armando Resendiz against uh, Contavious Cash. He beat Danny Valdivia during the Contender Series. Yeah. So, I mean, look, he's a tough out. But that makes Troy Isley's performance all that more impressive to me. See, in these these moments when you're having success like this, like you gotta you gotta try to stop yourself from being bored. Yes, you can get bored in there. It's be too easy for you. I was starting to think exactly that because one of the words we've mentioned with a guy like Tiger Johnson and a guy like Troy Isaiah, you've mentioned it earlier tonight with Floyd Diaz, consistency yes. and staying in the moment. And that's difficult sometimes. When you're having a ton of success like this, yes, it's extremely difficult to do so. Oh, that uppercut was nice. He saw Diegas asked him for that uppercut. Break, I got it. That's a shot right there. That's 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 a great punch, especially to split that high guard. You know, you got the taller the taller opposition in, in Hernandez leaning forward, trying to protect himself, and it's a perfect opportunity to split that guard with the uppercut. And it's a shot that he won't see. That was a strafing body shot that. from Troy Isley. He's breaking down Hernandez, who just is taking the best that Isley's got. Break. His technique has gotten better. Look at that. Double left hook. High low. Now he's trying to use the pill. He's trying to pull the guard down of his opposition. To place, to fill it with a shot as well. Stop, I just said, be look. I got a little fatigued against Vladimir Hernandez last time out, but I didn't get hit with anything crazy. This time, he's not winded at all, Tim. He's in great condition, and he continues to throw those powerful shots. There's no arm shots with ISD tonight. There's something behind every one of his shots. It's about snap. You got to have snap on your punches. You know, ISD has heavy, has heavy hands, but his body is body built. You know, he's built like I was. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I used to look like I hit hard, but I didn't hit hard. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's it's something it's something about the like the wiry guys, the guys that are real uh, uh, strong, strong and elusive. How about Luis Alberto Lopez going for his third title defense tonight with his unique style and powerful punches? He's ready to put on another knockout performance against Japan's Rei Abe right before Odebek Kolmatov and Ray Ford fight for the vacant WBA featherweight world title. Stop. Be careful. Round Hold seven on. of a scheduled eight okay, rounder. Okay. Troy Isley, the U.S. Olympian, fighting now for the 10th time since the Tokyo Olympics and putting on his most complete performance going to the body of the rugged Marcos Hernandez. Look at those combinations he's drawn. Beautiful combinations. And then that, that right into to the, the chin also. Anytime you see Hernandez drop those hands and take a deep breath, he's been doing that since early on, since you were speaking with Bomag in round three and four. He's been taking those deep breaths. Yeah, yeah. Hernandez is the type of fighter you gotta you gotta have the referee step in and say hey, he's had enough. Or you gotta completely beat him down and knock him spark out because he's gonna be right there in front no, of no, your no. face. Don't don't start that. Both okay. his losses don't were stoppages against Anthony Durrell in the fourth round and then against Jason Rosario in February 2019. In oh, the ninth round. there it is. There it is. Shot. There it is. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk to me. Come here. Continue, man. Come on. He wants to continue. Statement. And there it over. is. There it is. 
Troy Isaacson. There it is. When tonight is done, I want you to say I am a legitimate middleweight contender. And you know what, Tim? With this